Okay, this is going to be a quick lesson in how to assign classroom data sets to instructors and how we've binned or organized the prefixes for the data sets so that each section or division or training directorate has their own series of prefixes to stay aligned with. So first, when we're on the Microsoft Teams, I'm going to show you how to get to the SharePoint site. There's two ways you can do it. You can, if you're on the Microsoft Teams app and you click on the team under the general uh, channel, you will see a tab at the top called ITE Dataset Manager. When you click on that link, it's going to bring you to the SharePoint site. From here, you can either try to maneuver through or you can click on this little globe and it will open up SharePoint which looks like this. It is the same exact site. I would suggest that once you have the SharePoint site open, you click on the little star here to follow, and then when you want to get to the SharePoint site and not go through Teams, you can just as easily, I'll show you, from your homepage, your Army 365 homepage, you can click on the SharePoint icon down on the left-hand corner here, and when it opens up SharePoint, you will see that your AGS IPSA SharePoint site is followed. It's one of the following on the menu. So you click on that and it brings you back to the AGS site. So from here, you click on this button, Data Set Manager, which is no different than this little link in the Teams. So from here, uh, you, this, presumably you would be a, a moderator of the site or an administrator of the site, so you would click on Assign or Verify Classroom Data Sets. CDS stands for Classroom Data Sets. So you click on this button and it's going to bring you up to a view of all of the data sets that are assigned. Uh, keep in mind some of these data sets might have been designated for a course or uh, but we haven't necessarily assigned an instructor to that specific data set, but we want that data set to remain within that course. So I'll just go ahead and start with something simple like Bolick. So Bolick has the C3 prefix, so the C3 data sets, the C4 data sets, and the C6 data sets. Um, and then if we click on Captain's Career Course, we see they have C5 and C6. Now, the reason that one of these Bolick instructors is, has C6 is because that Bolick instructor used to be a career course instructor. Now that individual is the Bolick chief. So rather than uh, confuse them, we're going to let them just continue to use that data set. And as that person moves, it'll sort of attrit itself out. But any other Bolick instructor that comes in uh, would be assigned uh, to one of these data sets here. So if we click on that drop-down menu, it tells you who those individuals are. So we know, pardon me, we'll go back to, here we go. So it tells me that these individual instructors are assigned to the C4 data set. So they will all have the prefix of C4, but they are each assigned a specific battalion. So presumably, Captain Shivler should never be using 369 individuals. So that's how the data sets are organized by prefix. If you simply just open up the, um, if you open up the menu or the view, you'll see that they have the C2 data sets. So um, I know, for example, Sergeant First Class Busu is moving. So any person that replaced him would then get his data set. They would have C2 369 armor. And this isn't, this isn't necessarily, it doesn't necessarily have to stick to that menu. Um, there are going to be instances when you have to find an open data set because they have more instructors or assigned data sets than they do have prefixes um, designated. So this is, the designation of the prefixes to a section is not set in stone, but it does help keep things, it, it, it'll help prevent career course individuals and Bolick individuals from walking into AIT data sets or WOAC instructors walking into NCO data sets. 
So they are in the same range. Um, if we come down here, I want to note that for TDD, I've broken them up by the courses that they work for or work on. So for example, EO is typically going to be all my WOES instructors, or I'm sorry, developers. And E1 looks like it'll be all of the officer training um, developers and so on and so forth. So we try to keep them grouped together that way. That way they can work together because so, AITD, um, you know, they may want to um, have one, one of the developers serve as the brigade representative as they collaborate on trying to build a lesson plan. And that way they're staying within the same prefix, although they may not be in the same battalion. So to assign a data set, we're just going to go ahead and give this a shot real quick. I'll just make one up and then delete it later. So under HQRMC, HRMQC, uh, CW4 Raymond has data set H0, and he has battalion 4. So I'm going to assign Mr. Sheridan, who's one of the new individuals in that section, I'm going to assign him a data set um, under H0. So all I would do is click the New button. Okay, From this course menu, I would select where I want them to work. You'll notice that's congruent with those menus that you saw dropping down. The inside destructor, so we're going to just type in Sheridan Brady, here he is. We're going to give him data set 1, I'm sorry, we're going to give him brigade data set H0 and he's going to get battalion number 1. Now if you see here, this tells you what those, what each number represents. So Mr. Raymond, I believe, had uh, data set 3 BSB. So we can't assign 4. It's already been given out. So we'll just go ahead and give it to 1. Uh, we don't have to fill in the status. We don't have to send him a report. That's, those are the only four values you have to fill in. Okay? And we click Save. Now you'll see that H0 has 2 assigned. 2 7 inch street and 3 BSB. So when you were to log in and say, oh, I need to give a data set to HRMQC folks, when you pull it up, you can say, oh, well, there's two out of the five in H0. You need to further open it up to see which of the battalions are not assigned. So you could give out two, three, and five underneath H0 to folks in the HRMQC. And that's it. That's how you assign a data set. And that's the breakdown of the prefixes for the data sets.